demand. The boys are in the building. Please welcome David and Paul of Angels and Airways. Come on now. Because I love how tall you are. Come over here because we can't see you. Everyone says It's so that. amazing. You're like real men or something. Yeah. That's right. How knuckles. That's how we market ourselves. I love it. Amazing. Okay, so have a seat. Let's freak everybody out. How's it going? Welcome oh, to yeah. MOD. They've been freaking out. I know. Okay. You right know now what? they're silent. I couldn't though. help but to laugh as I walked down. Cause, like, Why? It's like yeah, we're supposed to be cool exact same thing when I'm in bed. Like people cheering and stuff. Same thing. Great. And Good. staring at you, yeah. looking awesome. at you expectantly. It just makes you feel so strange, though, for real. We walk in, they're all go, and we're all, okay, so I hand a coffee. Well, one girl actually kicked me in the, in the <laughs> That's butt. That's weird. And then, That's uh, like, no, you too. Wow. Yeah. And then, like, you walk on the corner, and all these people cheer. It just makes you feel really kind of dumb, actually. Aww. But But only because you know that you're kind of, you're just not that cool. But actually, you know no, what? no, no, I felt pretty awesome. You know, we are. Well, you're wearing leather, that's why. Yeah, I was looking at that. You got corduroy on, and that's cool, too. It's very corduroy hippie is of me. cool. I'm very I, organic today. That's good. As a young person, I, and by that I mean like a child, I thought corduroy was really lame, but I realized later How that it's are cool. you? You're, mm. Oh, you're talking about older. <laughs> yeah, you actually look like it's like kind of like an um, astronaut. Jacket. It looks. It looks like. Um. Well, I am an astronaut. That's how we think of you, a musical astronaut. I am. I, I know. am. I go into space in a small area with other men. Interesting. Interesting. So, how is the tour going? How is everything? The tour is amazing. We uh, we started this band with all these gigantic ambitions, and um, it's to see it happen on this tour. This is the first kind of like real proper tour we've done. Uh, we did we did a couple other things, but if this is really our own show, we worked on the show for like three months. There's a, there's actually I was saying in a different interview earlier today. There's actually like this electronic portion of the show that took like three months to write the code and to truthfully figure out how to do with all these lights and stuff. I mean, with Matt did it. He's like an engineer, you know, and uh, Matt's our, our bass, bass player. player. Yeah. Um, all the songs uh, they all blend together. It's very cinematic and it's very epic. Like, extremely futuristic light show and. Um, it's just really awesome. There's the kids are waiting out in the snow since like five in the morning and stuff. Yeah, is it's that fanatical. Like, it's like it's a we're part of a movement, and that's what that's how we treat it. Like a movement. A movement, not oh. a bowel movement. Like a real like <laughs> like a. Well, our band is our, well, there's a lot to our band besides just the music. We're, we kind of consider ourselves more of a fine arts a fine arts production. I mean, we do we have a motion picture we just finished that's in the editing process now. We have a documentary we just sent out to multiple film festivals um, that we've been filming for two years. Uh, we are in the process of uh, we launched a technology called Mod Life on our website. That's an operating system for bands and for other people to broadcast themselves. So uh, that'll be available to the world in the summer. Um, but you can just go to angelsandairwaves.com to see it. So we have a lot going on. A lot is actually making my head kind of hurt a little bit. I can bit. actually see your eyes. They started yeah, spinning like a little bit. Yeah, they're like darting. You know what I, I keep looking at this TV over here? And I was like, like, so I was awesome. like no, well, You're she looks yourself, fine. Both of you. Because I got bags under my eyes. I look like a rock, dirty rock. <laughs> no. Man, look at you. Okay. You're a cute little smile. Look at that. That's, That's why I came. Actually, I don't actually have to say. Anything. We've got Craig, who's around here. Craig, where are you? Okay, you want to ask the boys a question? Uh, I was just wondering. Uh, since day one, where you first picked up a guitar as like a hobby, to now where it's become like a career, have you ever considered um, just kind of like bowing out and giving up for whatever reason? Um, I think if you find the thing that you really like doing, that truthfully moves you, that you whether you're a painter, you play guitar, or even if you start like a little restaurant, you like cooking for whatever it is. I don't think you ever bow up. I think you figure out how to make it work. I think, and the reason, the way you're gonna know if you found the right thing is if you lay in bed at night, constantly thinking about how to do it better. You don't do that with a job. You do that with with who you are. You know. So uh, in in a playing music, I do that. I don't sleep. We, you know, I might call David way late at night and go, dude. We should get that guy that painted the Star Wars posters to paint our album cover. No, I always just say, man, just go to bed. <laughs> you just gotta go to sleep. But we got him. You know? But um, you look like a band that has a lot of fun, and I was gonna ask you guys, I mean, because you guys have been doing music for such a long time that I feel like I would want to ask you a question about how you keep things really passionate for you, or how you keep yourself really filled with inspiration, but I feel like I got that answer, because you guys yeah, are so I think, well, I think like what Greg was asking is he was, it's kind of like when we first started talking about doing this band, we actually 
did have a conversation if if we could achieve these things and achieve like happiness and artistically being fulfilled like if we could do that through music and then from that conversation we decided we could do a band and express ourselves in all that way and that's I think how we stay so motivated and excited about it is because we excite ourselves first and hopefully that in turn like excites some other people. Yeah we do that like in the studio we'll shut out all the windows we put up like big epic science fiction movies on TVs around us and we we ride motorcycles and shoot Matt with BB guns. And you sound dangerous, guys. <laughs> I so a little dangerous. Men, you know, <laughs> right. grown ass okay. man. Speaking of exciting people, they're cold and they've been waiting. Your fans are outside. They're awesome. Take a look. Hi, guys. Hello? Oh, you walk no. to the window? Can you oh, going to go over there? But it's cold. I know, it's cold, right. but you're wearing the astronaut I thought you said it was jacket. cold. We shouldn't, like, go oh, okay. Hey, guys. You guys are warm. Just stay here. Well, hello. Oh. Hi, guys. I already got one. <laughs> Oh, I don't even. So I'm going to get you guys do a little bit of signing if you want. We're going to check yeah, out a video that we have. Everything's magic, angels and airwaves. Take a look. Come back for more. You're watching much on demand. We've got Tom and David here of Angels and Airwaves. Did you guys know that um, How About Girl, Gwen Stefani video was also shot at the same high school that you shot that video? That's why we went there. Obviously. That's why we did it. She wasn't there. It was weird. Yeah. At the time, We did she have cheerleaders, there. though. We did have cheerleaders, and they were women. Okay, good. What is going on with the documentaries, with the feature films? Because I know you guys re said you released some, so what's happening? When are we going to Well, we just, uh, we just submitted the documentary to a bunch of film festivals. It is finished. I don't know which festivals, and uh, and I don't expect like South by Southwest and Sun Tribeca. 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 So I, I, I'm, a, I'm assuming that some of them aren't going to take it, and I'm hoping that some of them do. It's really good. It's uh, it's the whole thing's on film. There's a bunch of CGI, and it's uh, got quite a little story to it. And um, I, I, it's not just like a handheld camera. It's really like beautifully produced. Um, and then the motion picture, we just finished filming. We're in the editing stages right now. If all goes well, we hope to have it out around fall. And uh, if it's in one theater or a thousand, I have no idea at this point, you know. We're kind of the only band in the world doing this, mm -hmm. so uh, it wasn't easy. But it's, it's, uh, I could tell anybody that's interested in it, it's sick. It's really different and cool and artistic. And it's, uh, I think it's going to blow a lot of people away. Is, it? is that the one that you were comparing to Kubrick? It's got a very Stanley Kubrick kind of feel to some of the parts of it, for sure. But, I mean, you can't really even pretend that I can say that it's as good as a Kubrick movie. I mean, you're talking about, like, one of the masters of filmmaking. But, um, uh, you know, so that's what's going on with those things. And what else? Is there any other questions you would like me to answer? Hmm. Well, right now, I want to take a look, actually, of a clip of a brand new video. You know what? I just want to say one thing about the new video, too. Uh, we, we, it was really cool because we, the guy, what are you looking all, look at me, who are you looking at over there? There's so much stuff going on, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, well the, the <laughs> video, <laughs> who are you looking at? <laughs> we did our, we did this video, Speaking. it was this, it was literally probably the smallest budget that I've ever had to work with, with a music video since I started my career back when I was 18, because the music industry is not doing so good so that you don't, they don't make these epic videos anymore, but we just grabbed our friends and we hauled around Southern California up in the mountains, up yeah, in the we desert. did all the load in, load out. It was out. awesome. We did it was everything. like super fun. You can find like what you can do if you just rent a truck and get a good camera and you have your buddy that's directing it that we've known since I was 12 years old and uh, how much you can accomplish if you just hustle and do things yourself. Awesome, that sounds like fun. Okay, you guys are doing a sold out <laughs> show at a cool house? That was so awesome. No, they're trolling her to hurry up and you're talking. But we want you. Cause Is that why she like kind of like jitters? Is like an electrical like a shot? Bit of a she's, she's, a she's a robot. She's a robot. She's a robot. Guys. All right, thank you so much for coming thank tonight you for at the us. Cool House right now.